Hey guys, what's up? How's going? So guys, this video is all about the grid. Too many times I'm getting same question from my Instagram that when I'm designing my own website or client website, what types of grid system or setting I'm using into the Figma. So today we're going to talk about mostly grid. So let's get started. Before setting grid layouts into the Figma, let's talk about something more. So if you are creating business website or like default website, I think you can choose the bootstrap grid system. It's pretty good, pretty quite popular. And uh, most of the website design on the bootstrap grid system, it has a uh, 12 columns. It has 1140 pixel width it's really good to have it second thing if you are working on the e-commerce or creating like bigger uh, container website like wide space so i think you can choose a wide range of grid system like example this plain ear website has because now you have a more space you can introduce more component you can introduce more design language and example this carousel end to end so it, you have a lots of advantage when you're creating wide grid system mostly for the e-commerce or dashboard so let's talk about the third website which is my own website and it's feather.com and uh, i'm still working on this website and this website have a wide uh, grid system it has a 1440 pixel as you can see this looking quite beautiful and i have more negative space and i can play a lot with this so i think now you you got an idea when the moment you're creating website what types of grid system you have to choose and there's a wide variety of grid system now let's talk about how we can create our first grid system into figma so as you can see we have our first example of bootstrap 4 and it has 12 columns and 15 pixel of margin we we call gutter into grid and we have a width 40 uh, we have a width 1140 pixel. It's quite good. So now first thing what you have to do You have to select your artboard, which is by default size 1440 pixel and now you have to click on this layout grid over here plus icon and now you will see some dotted grid over here and Just click on this dotted and just select columns and now we have this columns as you can see and now we're gonna take 12 columns over here we have 12 columns so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna use some kind of calculation over here. So let's say we have an artboard is 40, 1440 pixel and now just minus our width, which is called this. Now we have a 300 and 300 we just dividing with two. So we need 100 pixel uh, left and 100 pixel right. It's pretty simple. So we're just giving 150 pixel. That's it. And now we set up in gutter, which is margin from like over here, 15 pixel. Oops. So now you can see this is our grid system. Now it's ready. Now you can use uh, very, very, like very quickly and you can turn off and turn on simply. And even you can also like reduce the you know, transparency. Like uh, you can give four, you can give five and you even can change the color. It's pretty simple. Now let's talk about the little bit wider grid system which I'm using in my personal website. And it's it has also same thing, just plus and just uh, choose columns over here, 12 columns over here. And then after this, we just giving margin, which is around 100 over here, 100 pixel. And we have a gutter 24 pixel. It's quite easy, right? So you can create, like if you're creating e-commerce website, you can simply use this kind of system. And this one is one of my favorite and I'm using this grid system a lot into my client website. I, I really want to show you. So this is this has 12 columns again and we have a little bit bigger width which is 1280 pixel and it has gutter 40 pixel and it's really awesome and it's really worked very well as uh, I want to show you setting over here. These are the setting and uh, then you can uh, here is an example i really want to show you so this is 1240 for 80 pixel example and uh, see this is looking quite beautiful and it has few benefit first of all we have a like a equal width like 620 over here and 620 over here and somehow it is like my for me is a lifesaver 
and I feel like very good when I'm using this grid because like 99% we uh, this uh, grid system is helping me to manage the same size which I want which is like an even not odd size this is all about the grid system so if you want to download this figma file you can download I, I will mention the link into description and just follow me on Instagram uh, if you want to learn every day some new tips and you can see the post on the Instagram about this and just if you are new just keep subscribing and if you have any thought about that just let me know into the comment thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate thanks a lot